Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. If you're new here, hi, I am Julia, and if you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. Today I am here with the biggest pretty little thing haul that I have ever done. Now, when I say I did a big shopping haul, I mean I spent 150 on about five six items i'm not quite entirely sure how many i got i got a lot of goodies i got about five to six items of some statement pieces and some basics that i can pair up with things and i needed some shorts in the summer so i have a few of those in this haul so without any ado let's get straight into this video so you know that i love to start the hauls wearing the items that i love now this is one of the pieces now i have been eyeing this beautiful cobalt blue jacket print blazer for the longest time now it is called a blazer dress, so you could either wear it as a blazer or you could wear it as a dress. And I just, I love anything that has like this Chinese jacket print or anything that is jacket and textured. I think it gives it that extra oomph to it and it's almost a statement piece. And the issue is, a trigger warning, I don't know if it's because I gained weight or my hips because I'm doing a lot of weight lifting right now. It does not fit my booty. This has never happened to me because I'm usually a size six, so usually everything fits fine. You know, I don't have an issue with the bottom of the dress not fitting me. I've never had this issue. It's usually my waist issue. Now I seem to have a smaller waist, but a bigger ass. <laughs> Sorry to say it's so blunt. So it doesn't fit me. Now I'm going to show you regardless because I think it's beautiful. So this is what the jacket print dress looks like. It is a very low v-neck shape which I think is very flattering especially if you have a lace bra. I think that is beautiful and it comes with this matching jacket print belt with gold detail. So as you can see here the end of the buckle has this beautiful detail as well which makes it look super luxe and the buckle is gold. Now what I was saying is that it doesn't seem to fit me on the last button here i don't know if you can see it but it is gaping open a bit so this is how you know it doesn't fit so i got this in a size six so it shouldn't be an issue and i've never had an issue i don't know if it's a pretty little thing issue or if it's me probably gaining weight or maybe it could be the weightlifting. I don't know, but it doesn't fit. But anyway, when I bought this, I wasn't thinking about wearing it as a dress and I wanted to wear it more as a blazer. So that could be an alternative. Apart from that, I really love the print. I think it's so pretty. And this is what the print looks like up close. You can see this beautiful shine to the material. It's the satin material with this jacket print and it is quite sturdy. If you're a bit curvy, I don't know if I could consider myself curvy, you might want to size up. Now, if you're going to wear it as a blazer like I will anyway, don't worry about it. If you want it oversized, definitely do two or three sizes up because if you buy your normal size, it might be a bit small. Anyway, let's get straight into the next item. Okay, I am back with the next two items and one of them is a khaki pair of shorts which I'm wearing with this top. And the second thing is this mesh renaissance top and I'm obsessed with this top. Now, I don't know if I'm gonna keep any of these things. The only thing I know for now, for sure, is that I am going to keep this top. I love it. Let's start with the print. It is this Renaissance print, which you can't really see. It's quite subtle, but you can see mini cherubs here, and you can see them going throughout the top. As you can see here in the sleeve, you can see the cherub face and it is beautiful it's not something that's like so renaissance it's really like cherubs in your face no it's very subtle so you wouldn't even know that it has cherubs and that's something that i love and the color i love it's got this grayish blue tone going through it and i think it looks lovely on an olive skin tone like mine and Honestly, I'm obsessed. This is what the top looks like from far away. So you can see it in its full glory. So it comes with these two straps that you can either tie in the front or the back, or if you tuck them in your bra, you can eliminate them so you don't have them. What I love about this is that, you know those days in the UK especially, like your arms get a bit chilly in the afternoon. So this is perfect, but you could also wear it in the daytime because it's mesh, it's not suffocating. And that is something that I love in the summer. I really love the slit in the sleeve because it gives that extra flair and extra sass to the top and I'm obsessed with it. And if you look up close, it comes with two lapels here. So this is what it looks like. So as I said in the beginning as well, I was looking for staple shorts that I can wear over and over again. So I have paired it with one of those. and. It is these khaki, almost, I wouldn't say the Bermuda length, but they are your longer shorts and I love the color of them. It is this almost grayish khaki tone. And what I loved about them is that number one, they are distressed in the front.
front, but also they have slits on the side. So they're super easy to move. They're not restrictive. And I thought they were super cute. Now I usually get a size six, but because I have gained weight on my inner thighs and my bum, I thought I'd get an eight. But the issue is that it gapes in the back. I don't know if this is with all pretty little thing things, or maybe I'm wearing them too high, but I don't really like wearing my shorts super short, if you know what I mean. I like everything high waisted. So yeah, they are quite big on the waist, but they do fit my bum. So if you say if you're a typical size A, I would definitely go for these. And I mean, I could always wear a belt with them, so it's not an issue, but they are very comfortable, especially for a denim jean because they have the slit on it, which I think is lovely. I don't know if this outfit necessarily goes together because it's a bit two different vibes and two different worlds, but I would definitely wear this with a blue pair of jeans or some cargo beige trousers. Oh, I would love that with a small bag and you're off to go. But I definitely will be keeping these two pieces because I love the way this t-shirt looks. I think it's beautiful and the print is lovely. And the shorts, although they don't fit me properly on my waist, I know that that's not a big issue once I wear a belt with them. So I'll definitely be keeping these two items. So let's get on to the next items. I am back with the sage green green jumpsuit. Now it is everything that I love. Number one, I love sage green. Number two, I love a tank top and some tailored trousers. Now I got this in the usual size six, which is my normal size and it fits me perfectly. Compared to the other stuff that I got, it fits me perfectly. So it cinches me in on the waist and it goes out exactly where I want it to. So this is what it looks like up close. So it's a very tight tank top attached with these trousers that have these pleating in the front. So it gives you that extra space in the front. So after you eat, you know, you don't look like you're bloated, which I love. And it has these pockets on the side. And one thing that I have to know is that I am five foot three and they do come a bit long. It's literally hitting the floor for me. So now if you're short like me, I would definitely either tailor them up, get them cut, or I would wear heels with them, but they do touch literally where your feet end. So even if you wear heels, it might be an odd length. So definitely look into that. But for me, I would probably roll them up or I'd hem them up because I think rolling these type of things, it doesn't work, especially with the style of it. But that is what I would do and I, definitely will keep this. So this is what it looks like in its full. As you can see, it's quite long. But apart from that, everything is fine. I love the way it fits on my waist and the way that it's super tight on the top, but it gets looser where the legs are. And honestly, anything this color, you know I will keep. Also, one thing that I wanted to know about the fabric is that it's very, very thick. And I'm wearing black underwear and you can't see anything through. So if you're worried about, you know, those jumpsuits that are super see-through, it's not. And also it isn't a very stretchy fabric. So either get your size or get one size up. You can always belt it in, which is not an issue. But if you want something that's quite relaxed and comfortable, definitely size up. I got my usual size and it fits me snug as a bug, almost as if it was made for me apart from the length. So off to a good start and I will be keeping this one. So yeah, let's get on to the next one. Okay, so I am back with the final item and it is this denim, almost like this denim colored blue textured corset. The only reason why I don't have it on is because number one, I could not put it on me for the life of me. I don't know how. I tried to like wiggle my way in, but then I couldn't get myself out and I had to literally struggle for a good 10 minutes, get my partner to like rip it off me because I could not get it off. So, you know, if you're literally eyeing this, you're gonna have to have a lot of time to put it on. One thing that I realized is that it has no zip in the back or on the side. So if you're gonna put it on, you literally either have to unlace it or if you fit in, like if you could put it, slide it through you, you're very lucky, but for me, it didn't work. And one thing that I wanted to tell you is that if you can see the lacing here, it is knotted up. So if you literally wanna undo them, you're gonna have to unknot these and undo the whole corset and put it on because if not, I don't really think it's possible. And I got this in a size six, which for tops, I'm always a size six, so it should have fit me. And um, it didn't. And I'm honestly devastated because I really wanted to wear this tomorrow with a pair of blue jeans, the same exact color as the texture here, and just look super cool with some white sandals and a white bag. And I really wanted to do that almost like a head to toe denim look, although this isn't denim. And my dreams have been crushed anyway is what it is. It doesn't fit me. I can't put it on, nor could I take it off. So it's not worth the time. That is the end of my pretty little thing haul. And out of everything, I will definitely be keeping the Renaissance top 
and the khaki jeans and the sage green jumpsuit. I think those three items are my top three and I absolutely love them and I can see myself wearing them over and over again. The rest of the items were a bit of a block. Some of the things didn't fit me, some of the things just I couldn't even put on or I didn't like the fabric of it. So it is what it is. But you know, this is why we do these hauls because if you don't try them, you don't know. So this is the end of today's Pretty Little Thing video. Thank you ever so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below which was your favorite item or if there's anything that you're eyeing up, let me know down below. Also, please make sure to subscribe to this channel because I would love to have you here and we're so close to 300 of you. So I would love to hit 500 or 1000 by the end of this year. I don't know if, if it's possible, but let's see. So please subscribe to my channel. Also follow my Instagram, which is down below here. And give this video a thumbs up so I know that you like more of these videos and I could do more of these for you. And just comment the item that you'd like. So that is the end of today's video and I'll love you and leave you. Bye!